what is the closest thing to sort of living that's nothing. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what? What's, like, the closest... Like, do you know, at some point, something's gone from nothing to something, hasn't it? No, I don't... No, I don't understand what you mean. Do you mean what is the, the, the first and lowest and most primitive and most simple form of life? No, He's so, right here in this room, Rick. <laughs> say, say, like, when you look at a, a stick insect... Right. You go, right, there's a slight crossover there from a stick to a living thing. No, it's not. It didn't used to be a no, stick. No, 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 it's not. There's no, there's no, there's no biological relationship between it and a stick. But there, there isn't much difference between the two, is what I mean. Of course there is. It's a huge there isn't. They just, they just sit there looking like a stick. That's their skill. Yes, but there's nothing to do with being a stick. It's, it's like camouflage. That's like saying when a soldier puts on combat gear, you get, you're saying he's a cross between a human and a shrub. <laughs> What I'm saying is, have you seen them weird things that just look like... They, they, they sort of look like a leaf? Yeah, they are insects that, 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 that have evolved to look like a leaf. At some it. point, something has had it away with a leaf. No! What? At no point has something had it away with a leaf. No, to make it look that much like no. a leaf. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> At no point did a beetle shag a leaf. It's superficial. It's the way it looks. That's all it... It, that's like saying chameleons must have mated with green once. They are green. No, but it what, looks like a leaf. But then, how does it meet? How does it have relationships? It will be going around, sort of having it away with a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't, because it doesn't know what it looks like. It doesn't matter. It's not like they, uh, it, 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 the, you know, um, a stick insect that be talking to a stick for ages and go, oh, "I've wasted my time here." <laughs> This club's dead. <laughs> Rude. I was chatting to her. She was foxy, but she was giving me nothing. But, Dave, that's that's not a stick insect. That's a stick. What, what are you talking about? That's a stick. You've been talking to a stick all night. I, thought, oh, I can't believe it. I just thought she had a great, slim figure. No, no, it's actually a real stick. Well, I've been watching birds more than insects recently. Oh, in the, OK, in the you've last, moved on from In insect. the last week, just because so, I've sort of looked at the ant and the bee and that. And what I've found with pigeons is... They've got wings, yet they walk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'd love that to be a thesis where he got like a, a half a million pounds grant from a university, and I said, "Well, Pilkington seems to. He's done ants and he's done bees. Um, he's, he's followed ants. Apparently, they're not doing anything. Some of them are lazy. Um, he we are granting him another uh, half a million pounds. Um, he's been working on it for a year. Um, please welcome Carl Pilkington. Carl, what have you found? Well, even though pigeons have wings. They walk a lot. <laughs> <laughs>